What's up, everybody? Uh, today I'll be covering two updates from NVIDIA. One of them is focusing on NVIDIA GeForce Experience right there. The latest version from them is 2.1.2, along with some release highlights. The second is the NVIDIA's latest driver, which is a game, uh, which is a game-ready driver, and it is NVIDIA GeForce 344.11 driver. Uh, now, the reason why uh, we need these two updates are. I will explain this now. The reason is because if you have the latest NVIDIA GeForce graphic card, uh, the 900 series, which was just released recently, and they come in two forms, 980 and 970, you can, you can notice that there is no 960 as far as we know, but the focus is, is on 980 and 970. Now, you receive maximum gaming performance from these two graphic cards by having these two updates. So they are vital that you do update your system if you have purchased one of these graphic cards and then you'll be able to receive maximum performance and also that being said is if you look into the geforce experience release highlights so the reason you need to have the latest geforce experience is if you want to if you want to record uh it adds a dynamic super resolution mode for the gtx 900 series it's only available on 900 series not on the, the series before it so you only notice this difference if you have the, the latest graphic card 900 series it also has a 4k shadow play recording for the gtx 900 series so if you do not have uh 900 series you won't be able to notice this uh this, this functionality there of 4k shadow play recording uh it also improves the shadow play performance on sli configuration so if you have if you have several different graphic cards in your system uh, so say for example, you have 800 series, but you got 880 GTX, you got two of them or three of them, you will notice that with this update, uh, there will be uh, performance uh, upgrades uh, on those two SLI configurations of the graphic cards. Finally, uh, the GeForce experience, it also adds a wired PC controller support for the Shield wireless controller. Now, those of you who don't know what Shield wireless controller is, there will be a link in the description you can access and know more about it. But uh, it's a wireless controller, and now they're adding a, a PC, a wired functionality to it, so where you'll be able to connect it to your PC uh, or your laptop uh, via cable. Um, moving on uh, into the driver itself. So this driver, you can see that it focuses on the latest two graphic cards that were released recently by NVIDIA. So there will be significant performance upgrades in GTX 980 and 970. And that being said, we'll also notice uh, will also notice performance upgrades in the previous graphic cards and those of you who have 800 series or 700 series like me you don't have to worry about uh, not being able to notice any uh, uh, performance upgrades which you will because uh, the driver always provides maximum compatibility with all the drivers that there are so that being said uh, you you also notice that if you have the latest uh, blockbuster games including these four uh, borderlands pre sequel evil within f1 2014 and alien isolation there will be uh, performance upgrades with these games, so meaning more frames, uh, smoother gameplay, um, and and less GPU consumption, so less power consumption at the same time. Uh, as I said previously, all NVIDIA uh, GeForce drivers are game ready these days, so they come out game ready, so you can just update the driver and get straight into the game with maximum uh, performance in them. So you got one of one of these here. Um, best gaming experience for Borderlands. So all these games, again, you will receive uh, best gaming uh, experience regardless of the graphic card you have from NVIDIA. So that will be starting from 600 series to the latest series, 900 series. Uh, also uh, supports, uh, yeah, so it also supports a new GeForce GTX GPUs based on, uh, these These graphic cards are based on the second generation Maxwell architecture. So you'll notice that 800 series were based on the first generation. Uh, whereas 900 is based on the second generation Maxwell, so it's still using the same architecture that was provided in the previous one, except it's just a second gen of that. Um, finally, it also adds a, a G Sync technology, NVIDIA G Sync surround configuration. So, those of you who use G Sync uh, monitors um, for better sync uh, compatibility with the driver, you will see that it now provides uh, much better uh, G Sync technology and surround configurations there. Now, I hope this, this uh, video has helped those of you who are looking to upgrade your drivers and those of you who are looking to purchase the new uh, graphic card from NVIDIA 900 series. Um, now you'll know that what sort of uh, updates uh, you're looking forward to receive once you've updated your graphic cards, uh, drivers, uh, and the uh, GeForce experience itself. Now, if this has helped, please do subscribe. Uh, if you have any other further questions, please do leave a comment down below. Let me know if this driver has helped you by upgrading to it or if it caused any other issues. We'll look into it. Peace out.